Hey GTF fans, welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Escalating Iron Man Series. There's the chimes for the morning wake up, and it is day 5, morning of day 5. So overnight we turned all the stone that I mined up into cobblestone, and then I turned that into flagstone blocks. Yeah, I know 240... Um, Hopefully that'll be enough to finish off the base. We're going to need to get a bunch more wood. And we're going to need more cobblestone. So I'm going to need more rocks. So, first things first is... Let's grab... Mm, do we actually need anything out of here? Probably not. This is my overflow box now. Uh, we've got all the dukes. I guess what we'll do is... The trader doesn't open for a couple hours... So we're going to go and start digging out the rest of the base and collect some stone. And then we'll go pick up a quest from the trader and get the trader quest done and continue building the base. It might be a bit of a short episode today. Um, we'll see. We'll see. If I can get enough content that's not boring together to make it, you know, 45, 50 minute long, then we'll do that. Now, there was a zombie around here all night, and she seems to have gone. Oh, there she is. Let's go Let's go kill her, because she just annoyed me all night long. All right. Head a-poppin'. Uh, let's grab our bicycle. Now, the other thing, too, is I'm going to have to collect more eggs, as usual, so whenever we see a oh, bunch of... Oh, this guy's a, a construction worker. Okay, so our game stage has ramped up a bit. We're now getting construction workers spawning. And we've got a bunch of zombies around here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's deal with them. Now these construction... Oh! <sighs> trader teleported me. I'm too close to the trader and he's not open yet. Come over here, buddy. Construction workers have hard hats on, so they actually have armor. An armor rating. I don't think it's very high, but... Uh, the spear penetrates 20% of armor. I think the steel... Spear does 30%. Not 100% sure on that. Okay, so let's go collect some more stone. And we're going to dig... Actually, what we'll do is we'll dig out the, the foundation, where I want the foundation to go. Sorry, I'm moving the mouse a little fast. Spinning the camera a little bit too fast. Okay, I don't see anything coming to kill us. So, working out in the open like this can be very dangerous, believe it or not. Although, I am at a fairly low game stage. I'm only at game stage 15, so sh we shouldn't get a zombie, dog, bear, horde stroll through here yet. I think that... I don't think they start spawning at about game stage 30 or so okay so what I want to do is I'm gonna dig a foundation now this one's three wide so I want to do I want to make it 11 by 11 so that means we're gonna go four blocks out on either side Okay. Is that four blocks? Maybe that was only three. Let's see. One, two, three, and four. And I don't have the cobblestone to upgrade them, so I'm not going to put any... Although, we're not going to 
we're not going to make it so that you can't get to it. So, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's just get that up there. We've got one, two, three, and then it's going to be level. That'll be the floor level right there. Okay. Now, I want to get this all built before the horde comes so that I have a base to actually put my head in because <laughs> right now I'm sleeping above the gas station which isn't really ideal it's just a little piece of crap wooden structure okay keep getting these put in then once I get this these four walls up I can actually put a floor on and continue building more walls up to get a, the roof on. So it's only really going to be a single story structure. But I don't know, that didn't, it just, there was a, it looked like it popped the other block, but it didn't. Just a little bit of an optical illusion there. Okay, we got one, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four. Now the first floor is technically just going to be completely wasted space. I'm not going to have anything down on the first floor. I'm not going to have any storage. Um, heck, I'm not even going to lay down flagstone on the floor itself. It'll just be dirt. <clears throat> um, I just don't want zombies getting into my the first floor and smashing things so that's why i'm not going to use the first floor at all okay i'm going to finish digging this throwing these walls up and i'll grab you once i'm done that we've got zombies coming up on me here while i'm trying to get some stones my uh, shovel broke and I had no stones, so... Oh, well, thank you for the goodie bag. What'd you drop? Huh? That's okay. That's okay. Not bad. Bullets. I'll take bullets and uh, painkillers any day. And this guy's getting too close for comfort. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. Love it. Okay, well, the trader's almost open. I'm just going to keep bashing away at this rock here until the trader opens and then we'll go get a quest from the trader okay let's I dug up a bunch of rock let's deal with this guy and then we'll go get a quest from the trader you know I don't think I bought the cobblestone from him yesterday so it should still be available today so we'll go take a look so that was quite a bit of cobble he had and it's usually pretty cheap so I don't have any dukes on me, but does this look like a lounge to you? Um a little bit, yeah. It does kind of look like a lounge. Okay, what do you got in the way of jobs? You've got Oh my god, nothing really close. So fetch to the north is the closest one. Okay. I've got a job for you. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll be goddamned. I didn't think you had the guts to do it. Whatever, buddy. Let's see. I think he's still, yeah. See, he's got just a ton. He's got 500 cobblestone there. He's got cement, too. I'm not going to make buy the concrete because it's oof, super expensive. 250 for 50. I mean, 2,000 for 400. I mean, that'd be nice. Uh, that's 550 and then that will be a hundred yeah so I'll get all that cobble do you have any in here no nope. okay oh, so there's something else not really not yet okay did I actually get his gun safe no I didn't now that it's a higher game stage I think we should give this a try we got lock picks on me. 16. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe we can get something useful out of his uh, his gun safe. 
and come on can we do this in one shot let's see zeros I want to see zeros and zeros nice uh, it's just crap <laughs> Ugh, it's not even worth selling, is it? That's worth 24. Uh, you know what? I'll hold on to those. Let's get rid of... Let's sell this crap. Um, yeah, I just robbed your safe, and I want you to buy all the stuff back for me. Is that is that cool? All right. Huh, we almost got enough for all that cobblestone, right? Because it was what, a <laughs> hundred? Cheap, cheap, cheap. You know. Uh... Oh, they're only eight each. No, I'll hold on to those then. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. Oh, they are, are they? Okay. Well, let's go bang this quest off. Or mission, I guess you could call it. Thingy. Mission, quest, thingy, you know. Uh, let's dump a bunch of stuff in here. We gotta come back here anyway. Don't need that, 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 that, that. We don't need the excess ammo. Don't need that, don't need the stones on us. Don't really need the coffee. We'll keep what food and okay, the rest of it looks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oops. Let's do that. Hit E again to start driving. <laughs> well, a kilometer away. I'll come grab you when I'm there. Okay, we made it there. I'm just gonna clear up. Oops. Most jump there. I'm just gonna clear up some of the zombies around the area so they don't come bug us while we're doing the POI. There was about four or five of them I saw when I first came here. I killed a couple, but figured I should be doing all the killing on camera for you guys. Oh, right in the gooch. Come on, die. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Uh, good enough. I, I, I think there's another one kicking around, but whatever. I can't hear it. Let's do some quick little cheeky looting before we do the... I don't... I'm not going to do a uh, full double run on this. I'm just going to take a look at the stuff on the outside here. Is this lootable? Nope. Okay. You know what? Let's take the stone. Need all the stone. It's like one of the resources that you can never have enough of, it seems. Until you have enough. <laughs> Whoa. Something just blew up. Something just blew up over there at, at the Red Mesa. Military uh, compound. Huh. Okay, let's check. Oh, look at this. There's cheeky little... Is this going to be the easier way to get in? Yeah. No zombies in here. Okay. Is there anything in here? Oh, moldy backpack. But some cam. That's not bad, actually. Okay. Let's reset the POI. And we'll do this properly. I wonder if I should put down a secure chest. I might have to. Here, let's let's load what we can into the bicycle. Don't 
Don't know why I had rock busters on me, but uh, painkillers. We've got first aid bandages, regular bandages. Oh, here, let's store those in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. We might have to come out and put a secure chest down. Oh, you know what? Now I can loot this again and get nothing. This car is lootable now. Glue, that's always handy. What I should do is actually kind of loot all this stuff after. Uh, so let's let's go clear. We have to find the White River Supplies. It's showing it up. Okay. And locked and unlocked. So this is probably the way in then. Okay, zombies. Oh, a crawler, really? Come on, get out of there. Oh, yeah, nothing there. Can't remember if this was tier two or tier one. Uh. Tier 1 fetch. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we'd be getting Tier 2 stuff yet. Uh, okay. Oh, there's one. There they come. Here they come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? We're going to pop some heads here. Or not. Wow! Took three shots to kill them. Okay, let's just roll with the shotgun. Get this done quicker. Can we... Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. All these little hidden zombie traps. Break all that open. What's here? Okay, food. I'll loot after I kill everything. Get the oh shit out. And, oh, there you go. Die. Oh, I blew up the thing underneath them. Damn it. <sighs> that was kind of shitty. Okay, so I think we go through there because that's locked. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and then, what, do we just scooch over here then? Oh, 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 oh! Kind of a waste of a shotgun shell, but uh, I'm not going to go down and skin it. I do need the, I do need the rotten flesh and that. Okay, so this looks like, oh, this is the end loot. Look at this. So, should we... Yeah, we've got some... Oh, double stack zombies. So let's see if we can pop their heads. Sneaky, sneaky like. Nice. Nice. Oh man, the sneak attack damage with the bow is so good now. Okay, where's the supplies? Let's run it over here. We're on the right level, but... Aren't we? Yeah, we're on the right level. So this is locked. Oh, this is a different door. Was I supposed to come through here? Okay. Uh, wow. Let's just open up all this crap. Okay. Well, where is it? It's on this level straight ahead. It must be behind that picture. Well, let's give it a shot. Yep. Okay, so the, we've done the quest, but now we need to loot. So let's do that. Clean up this room really quick. I think that's all there is in this room. I do need the paper and stuff. You know what? Let's just... 
I need it for shotgun shells. Paper, paper is required for shotgun shells. At least it used to be. I'm, I think it still is. Yep, paper, gunpowder, and buckshot. Okay, so let's see what we got in our big chest. Ooh, what do we got here? We've got do 10% more damage to humans. Whatever. Uh, when in combat, health recovers one hit point with every punch. Well, that'd be really cool if I was going to go brawler, but I don't really think I'm going to. Um, oh, we've got a better bone knife, so let's do that. And that we can just... So that is block damage of 5. And that's block damage of 5. Uh, stamina 7. Stamina 7. 180 durability. Two, okay, so this is better. So let's <coughs> scrap that. And we'll scrap that. And then we'll repair that. And then we'll take all those. Okay. Oh, grab our arrows. Nice. Ammo, always appreciated. Okay, give me some iron tools. Ugh. Repair kit's okay, but the. Uh, oh, you know what? That is block damage 49. 46, that's actually better than my shovel. Nice. So we'll scrap our current one and we'll repair that one. Take that stuff. Hi, right, not too bad. I mean, a, a little bit of an upgrade there. That. Uh, I need the cloth, so we'll break that down. Okay, I don't think there's anything else left in these two rooms. Let's just let's do a sneaky little run over to this side again. And we'll start looting here. No? Ugh. There's probably something Uber in there that I blew up, and there's nothing up here. Okay, is there... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I don't see any hidden... Blocks. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Can we? No. Can we see over there? No. Okay. Ah. Uh, got. And that's probably not as good as mine. Twenty. And 26, yeah. Scrap that for the whatever it is, wood. Nothing? Ah. Uh, it's disappointing. Disappointing kitchen. Eh. Oh, bandana. I don't think I had one. Let's wear that. Oh, yes, I did. I had a better one. Okay, we're going to get rid of the die out of here, because I'm going to start collecting these dies to scrap, and then I'll just scrap this. We'll scrap that. And we'll just scrap it now. Okay. Keep going. And I'm going to collect these. Oops. Cumbered, that's fine. And oh, see, so we've got some blocks down here that are missing. Ah, uh, come on. Really? Okay, so let's take. You know what? That's not bad. At least the chili's pretty good. We're gonna get cloth out of this, right? Yep. Okay. Any cheeky sneakiness up there? I don't think so. Okay, let's check the bathroom. Splint, that's okay. Uh, 
Empty water is always useful. Some poly. Some steroids. Oh, we got some. Nope. That one. Man, how many cans am I going to scrap here? Uh, let's modify you. We'll take your die out and we'll just scrap you. Scrap you. Uh, scrap you. That'll stack with the other die or the other paint. Yep. And you really suck. And you're not worth repairing or selling. So I'm just going to scrap you for the <laughs> cloth. What else? What else? What else? We're going to scrap you. Um, bolts. I'll hang on to the iron bolts just because I might find a... I wouldn't mind actually finding a decent crossbow because crossbows also do the the extra sneak damage from what I hear. So that might be a better way. Crossbows don't have such a uh, bad arrow drop. Like they have much better velocity to them. So. Ooh, blueberry pie. That's actually a pretty good find. More ammo. Always welcome. Jars. I, I do keep jars, by the way. Because they are needed. They are needed. Pretty much everything in the game that you get is needed somehow or another, usually. Oh, it's all useful. All useful. Okay, did we get everything up here? Is there any... Is that like... No. Okay. Uh, that's weird. No, I'm not banging on that. Huh. That might be it. Grab that. Yeah, we'll grab that, you know, because I'm going to need to start making grow plots pretty soon. Once we have a base up and running, that's that's actually one of my priorities once I get a base up and going is grow plots. I know it sounds crazy, but once you get your food situation sorted out in this game, it just makes it so much easier. It makes life so much easier. Oh, I could have climbed up there, maybe? No. There are those... No, that's concrete. And that's wood. So that's just painted. Okay. Oh, was that something under there? Nope. There's nothing else up there. Nope. Okay, let's uh, see if there's anything in here for us. Same rotting bag. Oh, nice. Vitamins are always useful. They're actually a medical thing now, vitamins, because they actually heal certain ailments. Uh, plus, they I think they prevent you from getting sick if you eat something that could give you dysentery. Okay. Doing good, doing good. All right, well, I think we are done here. I'm going to head back to the trader and we'll trade this, or uh, we'll hand it in. And, oh, what the heck? Freaking another Zomberino dying at the uh, <laughs> Red Mesa. I'm fine with that. That's fine. You can explode all you want. Okay, I'll see you back at the trader.
Okay, we got some zombies here. Stop to grab a bird's nest and we'll just deal with them. What was that noise? Oh, I gotta be careful. We're at noon. This is when... Right about now is when a frickin' wandering horde will be unleashed on me. Right when the airdrop happens. Uh, let's go deal with him. I hear something else too. There's more zombies. No? Oh, it's this guy. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? Get him in my face before he can try and hug me. There you go. You can, you're not going to hug anyone anymore. Okay, let's get back to the... So these, I didn't realize I've been... Oh, nice. I've been um, breaking them down after. And look at that. You got cloth out of them. I didn't know that. I did not know you got cloth out of bird's nest. So there you go. Not off that one, but, you know, lots of times you do get cloth. Okay. Okay, we are at the trader. Uh, I cleaned up my inventory. I put it all in the box out front. Ooh. Well, you did it, so I'll honor wood splitter our mod. agreement. What do we have on there? We don't have a wood splitter mod. Ooh, but look at all that a fat stack of ammo. You know what? I'm going to have to go with the ammo even though I don't have a gun for it yet. That's fine. 387. So let's buy all these cobble. For 100. It's nice and cheap. Um... What else does he have that we can get fairly cheaply? Not the AK yet. Uh, we've got some more 9mm ammo. Nope. Well, that's all crap I've sold him. Okay. Uh, ooh, that learning elixir. You restock day seven. I want to get all these books and that learning elixir and the AK. So that's one, two, three. That's five. I need about 10k before. Oh, look at a motorcycle chassis. 6k. Oh, yeah, buddy. Well, I think we're done. Ooh, there's a drop right there. Let's go get the drop. Let's go get the drop. Woo! Get the drop. And I think I'll kill whatever annoying zombie is out here beating on that. It was her. You know what? Come here. Come here. That's what you get for making all that frickin' racket. Uh, you know what? We'll go get the drop really quick. And then we'll come back. Uh, we have the stripper nurse. She didn't take too kindly to me uh, grabbing the bird's nest there. Let's take a look at the mail. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Always check the mailboxes. Okay. We're almost there. I'll just keep you with me until uh, until we get there. I'll just go double speed and exhaust all my stamina doing it, but that's okay. We need something that can burn fossil fuel. Motorcycle would be nice. The 4x4 is, is the ultimate. 
because it um, it can carry so freaking much. Okay, let's check it out. Wow! Oh! Holy crap! We'll use that. We'll use that. And we'll use that. Oh, man! Okay, well, I was actually gearing up my int to try and work up to um, Engineering 2 so that I could have got the workbench and the cement mixer. Um, I have a feeling I'm still going to be doing that anyway because I want to I want to get up to Engineering 3, which is the electrician to make uh, all the electrical stuff, electrical traps and all that stuff. So, so we'll still, I'll still end up taking engineering too, even though I just looted the workbench, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're going the right way here. <laughs> The feeling, okay, so that's, yeah, we're going the right way. There's the trade. And I keep an eye out for bird's nest, but I think I cleared all these out. Of the, oh, no, there's one right there. And no cloth off that one. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need cloth every single time I destroy a bird's nest. But it's just like, oh, hey, was that a... Untouched. And I'll get rid of that too, so I never stop to loot it again. So I'm going to do that with garbage. I'm going to do that with anything out on the ground, out in the wild, that, because I've got respawning turned off for loot um add that get that in there get that in there that was actually pretty good let's go sell this if we repair that do we have a we don't have a pipe that's fine that's fine okay we're gonna need that we're gonna need that we're gonna need that we're gonna need that well, I'm going to start making cobblestone. Uh, God, we're going to need like a thousand at least. At least. And then we're going to go sell this, and then I'm going to meet you back at the horde base because we're going to keep working on it. All right, let's deal with this guy. Oh, yeah. I need a better spear that can hold more mods because then I can put, I can build another uh, burning shaft mod. I think I know how to build those, right? Burn. No, not yet. Okay. Oh, well, that's whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's grab. Got rock busters there. You know, I don't need all this crap here. Peas. I don't want to eat any of that stuff. Let's... Yeah, that'll just. We'll just put that back in the base. We'll come back for this stuff later. Uh, I don't need this on me either because I don't have a gun for that. Uh, full stacks of ammo that we can't even use yet. Like it. I like it. Okay. And we're plugging away building cobblestone right now. Okay. Let's head back over to the horde base. And basically the rest of this episode is going to be working on the horde base. Base. Let's just call it the base at this point because it's not only is it my horde base for the first couple of horde nights but it's also going to be my main base now I know that's a bad idea to have your main base connected to your horde base but 
for the first couple of hordes it's not a big deal as long as you make it so that they can easily get to you they won't stop and beat on your base after that I'm definitely going to make a second horde base. It's probably going to be, it'll be a ranged horde base, uh, kind of like a, a, a spiral. There'll be a tower in the center and then a spiraling walkway around it to stare so that as they come up onto the walkway, I can just shoot the crap out of them as they walk around and try and get to me. And I'll show you that once we get to it. But that's not going to be a couple weeks out yet. So let's um let's keep working on this now i got the hammer here so what we want to do is do i got anything in here wow that was a that was a whole lot of lag uh that means something just spawned in around us crap 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 let's just jump up here really quick <laughs> A chicken. A chicken spawn? Really? And that lagged us out? <laughs> uh, I don't see... I don't see anything coming for us. That's okay. Even if we have a wandering horde, this base is strong enough to deal with a wandering horde. No problem. No problem. A sustained horde? Maybe not. we got to upgrade it a little bit more, but... Um, yeah. Okay. So I have those front walls up. We got to continue digging. So 11 blocks by 11 blocks. Okay. I'm going to dig this out and then I'll come get you when we start laying the flagstone down. Oh yeah, I got the trench built, so let's lay down our flagstone. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh crap, I went too far. I went too far. All right. Because that's one, two, three, four. Screw off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I went too far. Ah, uh, that's okay. You know what? Here, let's just cancel that for a second. I'm going to make dirt. Let's make. 11 dirt blocks. Why are they so slow? Flagstone blocks are faster to make than a dirt block? <laughs> oh, seven days. You just... You're just a mess, aren't you? That's fine. Come on, give me that. So from here, what I can do is I can just refill that up. Okay. And then I got to redig that right beside it. I'll be back. Okay, let's keep throwing our blocks down. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, get off there. 10, 11. Okay. Let's do some cheeky upgrades here. Get the ground, the foundation at least, to cobblestone. 
I mean, we're going to eventually have this all the way to concrete. Or s concrete, yeah. Nice. Look at that. XP just flying in. Oh, I didn't continue making... Yeah, I gotta... I stopped doing that, so now I gotta... Let's do another 500. I have to go get some more stone. You can see how quick my XP is going up, though. It's definitely one of the fastest ways to level in the game is, is by upgrading blocks. Okay. And do we have all these ones upgraded? No. Come on. Okay. Okay, so now the foundation is all cobblestone. Uh, let's continue to throw all the walls up. I'll just go around and I might have to go chop down a bunch of trees around here. I'm going to need the wood because I'll be putting wood flooring in. Oh, this is for the walls. So the stone and stone will get upgraded to concrete eventually. And the wood floors will just stay as wood floors. I don't think I need to uh, upgrade them once I put them in. Might paint them. I know this isn't going to be a very big base, but really I'm I'm kind of a simple guy. I don't need I don't need an extravagant crazy huge base that takes weeks and weeks to build. And I'm not going to have time in this series because it's escalation. Uh that means it's going to continue to get harder and harder and harder even though that the game stage will continue to go higher, which will make it naturally harder and harder anyway. But the game stage is also reflective of your character's level. And so as the game stage goes higher, it kind of just matches your character's power. So really, the escalating game stage just kind of tracks your character's progression. So it, it the game doesn't necessarily get more difficult because your character is getting better gear, has more health, and will end up with more perks. So um, really, if you don't change the, the difficulty at all, if you just stay with, oh, that was a misplace. Got to get rid of that. If you just stay with uh, the regular difficulty that you have it set to when you first start the game, it'll progressively get hard. The zombies will progressively get a little bit harder um, because, you know, instead of, instead of you having a regular zombie, you'll end up starting to get ferals and cops and then, like, irradiated cops and stuff like that. Uh, crap. Stop that to repair this. And to repair that. And then we'll just cobblestone again. 500. <laughs> okay. Let's keep getting these blocks up. You can see these 250 blocks that I made really don't go that far. And this is a tiny, tiny little base, really. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our basic walls 
for the base portion. I still, before I waste all my cobble on upgrades, I want to upgrade the rest of this walkway and the face of that. So let's use our cobble to do that. I don't want them busting out the a way to get to me because then they can't get to me and then they start smashing on the base. So get out of my way. Okay. It's getting there. Now I'm going to not upgrade this one because I'm going to be knocking this out to put a dart trap in there eventually. And they won't they won't sit there and beat the crap out of this block. They'll probably try they I mean they might. They might. What I need to do is upgrade this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's the horde base portion upgraded. We got to upgrade the hatches still because they're still wood, reinforced wood. So I want to get those to reinforced iron. Um, now we need to go around and chop a whole crap load of trees down. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be back in a bit. Well, I feel like I'm generating a lot of heat around here and this in this uh, quadrant or chunk or whatever they call it. Uh, I think shit's gonna just spawn on my head any second here. How much wood do we actually have? 1800. You know what, that's good for now. Let's make a bunch of wood frames. Uh, let's make 100. That leaves us plenty for upgrades. Okay. Let's go get these frames in and we'll put some more of these cobblestone block or the flagstone blocks up. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> right. Uh Okay. How you doing? You getting there. Okay. we uh, can I get can I see that a bit yeah here we go come on there we go nope don't fall don't fall there we go I just had to get that started now it's that'll be much easier to throw the frames in now I've I haven't played a lot of Seven Days to Die. I've probably started about seven games at varying degrees of difficulty. Um, and realistically, I don't think I've ever had a series. I'm not talking video series, just, just a game of Seven Days to Die where... I didn't eventually die because I've died every single time in this game. I've never made it past about, I want to say, I think the longest I went before dying was, was about day 56 or something like that. Um, so I'm expecting once I escalate the difficulty on this, It'll just start ramping up so quickly because it'll compound with the game stage. So the game stage will keep track of my ability. Like it'll, the game stage will ramp up as my character gets tougher. So basically the game stage just, just keeps the game in check with the difficulty of the character. And the only way to really make it exceptionally harder is by escalating the difficulty in the settings. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, 
you know what? I want to get down there. So let's put let's get rid of that one and we'll make we'll make a bunch of ladders. Uh, just a couple for now. It's good enough. The other thing too is I'm not going to place these ladders all the way down because if the zombies can see, zombies can't, if I put a ladder there, they could climb it. But if right here, they can't get to it. They can't jump high enough and grab up where I can. So that is no pathway for them. If I put that all the way to the ground, they would see that as a pathway and smash through the wall to try and get to the ladder. So I'm not going to do that. I've, I've, I've experienced that in a playthrough that I've done already, and, and I regretted it because they destroyed the base. They literally pounded the crap out of the base and destroyed it before I could actually recover. <laughs> so come on, get off there. Okay, the next step is we're going to put the corners up. One, two... Okay, we're going to have a door right here. Let's have a door there so we go like that and like that and like that and like that. And then we'll go like that. We want at least three high, so the roof is going to be on the fourth block. So the roof is actually going to be higher than, than the horde base portion. That's fine. Let's get those corners in. And then we can get that up properly. Okay. Let's continue that right up to the top. Um, let's make some windows. No, you know what? We're not going to have a window there because that's right beside the door. And then we're just going to run blocks across. And then that comes down one. We're going to have another door there. And then these are just walls. Actually, let's have that come out all the way. Just kind of winging it right now. I'm just winging it. Don't really have a design in my head. I'm just... Just winging it. Okay. And then we want... What are we doing for blocks? We're almost out of blocks. Darn. I think I want that to go all the way there and there. Because we want storage. We want storage. So how are we doing for cobble? Lots of cobble left. That's good because we need more... Flagstone blocks. Let's make another, I don't know, 50. See how much faster they make the flagstone blocks than dirt? Than dirt! <laughs> Just, uh, that's funny. That up there. That. there. So that's one, two, three, four. Roof level. Okay. Good. And then we'll just fill that in. I want the corners at least to come out two blocks so that I can put storage. Okay. Um, if we have a door there. That way we can get around. I don't want to put a door right here because the the hatches or the uh, ladders there. So if we put a door there, then we can go like this and put windows in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we can put wooden bars here for windows. 
Well, I guess we could we could put like hatches, and then open and close them for. Eh, we'll see. I, I like wooden bars too. Okay, let's duplicate what we got over here. So that's gonna go like that and like that, right? And then that goes up like that. Okay. And then if we're quick enough, I might be able to actually move into this today. <laughs> so that would be nice. Um, let's just uh, we we're out of out of blocks already. Holy crap! That 50 50 flagstone blocks went pretty freaking quick. Let's do another 50. Okay. And then, so a window right beside the door. And that comes across. Come on. Right there. And there and there. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll do windows on the back too, but I want at least two blocks out. Got one, two, and then a bottom. Okay. So I guess we'll put these all the way along the bottom. And then, you know what, we'll continue the ladder up along there to get to the roof where I'm going to have a garden. So let's span that. Uh, that's one heck of a big window. Let's just go like that. We'll have two bars there. Okay. Okay, that's all the flagstone blocks we're going to need for now. Eventually, eventually I'll be putting a a ledge or a, I don't know what you call it, a walkway around the entire base of blocks upgraded to concrete. Nice. Well, let's upgrade this. Do I have, how many f I only got 27 left. Let's make some more uh, walk ladders. Now I can, I can do these all the way up because They're not going to smash through the wall on the upper part to get up here. They'll, they have no way to path to it except for through here. So, and if they path all the way through here, then, then I've lost. I mean, <laughs> so I don't really care. So let's just get these up. There we go. Okay. And then we need to make a ton of these. Uh, let's just make another 100. We go through frames really quick, so having 100 frames on us is not that big of a deal. Okay, well, I'm going to finish putting up all these, and I'm going to upgrade it all. Uh, I'm going to put some doors in, and then we're going to put some storage in here and try and move everything over before nightfall. I don't know if I can accomplish that, though. But we'll give it a shot. All right, just the last couple. Oops. <sighs> I didn't really want to upgrade that. That's fine. Actually, I think I can... Can I smash this? I think I can and get it back to... Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, but it's damaged. Okay, now it's not. Um, oops, oh, I didn't want to smash that. <laughs> Get the right click and left click right. Okay, there we go. Upgraded all the wood, so the, the ceiling's up. Or the roof, whatever you want to call it. Come on, get the hell in there. The ground floor is still just dirt, but I'm not really going to develop that. So we need one, two, three, four doors. And, ooh, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Let's make four of those. I think we're going to actually have to um, head back. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to move in here. Not tonight. I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time. Uh, we want that other way so that spider zombies can't find a leg hold to, if they jump up. We don't want to give them a ledge to jump on. Okay. Nice, and then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wooden bars. Okay, and I think they'll just automatically go the way I want them to as long as I don't screw with any of the directional stuff. There we go. There we go. Nice. And last one. Okay, time to head back. Time to head back. Uh, we've got a bunch of food on us and water. You know, I'm just going to head straight back there. We've got 10 minutes till nightfall, so I don't think I have time to do anything else but just to hide on top of the roof of the... Trader Joel's is now closed. Okay, that's, that's our warning sign to hide. <laughs> get the hell indoors. Oops. Can we get over there? Come on. There we go. And do I have anything on you? I still got all that stuff in front of the trader that I got to go pick up. But I might just leave it there because tomorrow is moving day. Tomorrow is moving day. Now, I put a bedroll up here just so that zombies don't respawn because I think they're going to respawn tomorrow. Day six, I think they're going to respawn up here. So I, um, with my bedroll down, that should prevent anything around here from, from respawning. Well, there we are. As night descends, we have not died. Death zero, so we're still in it. We're still in this. It's game stage 19 now, 122 kills. Uh, we have a couple of points to to put into stuff and I was working on intellect to get advanced engineering so I need level 4 that'll give me cement mixer and craft items with them 20 so the perk is I craft faster even if I can make the workbench I'll craft faster with it with this perk plus it'll eventually I need this I want electrician which is intellect level 6 so Let's put that up to four, and then we take that. There we go. There's our points. We're all ready. We're ready for tomorrow. Well, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, next episode, we'll obviously have to do another mission. It's day six, not day seven. So day six, we'll have to do another, complete another mission from the trader, and we'll keep working on the base I'm gonna be moving all my crap here over to the base we're gonna we're gonna get some workstations built I think I, I want to try and get a workbench going uh, some forges a cement mixer we've got some some pretty big ambitious goals to 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 realize tomorrow 
before Horde Night. So it's going to be a busy day tomorrow. I better get my rest. Well, guys, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.